Just recently, we received information that the current NASA mission to explore Mars was a complete success. The Mars rover Perseverance was set down on the surface of the Red Planet, along with the helicopter Ingenuity, which started as planned. First videos with audio tracks have already been transmitted to Earth. In our video, we have summarized the most important information about the Mars 2020 mission for you. We look at the history of this mission as well as its ambitious goals. We'll also cover the data and information obtained so far. Of course, we can expect new updates in this area on a daily basis. We'll try to summarize them for you in the video notes as well. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and get excited for more fascinating videos in the future. The Planning of Mars 2020 Back in 2012, it was announced that NASA would conduct another mission to Mars. The first step was to plan which instruments the Mars rover would have. This planning stage took almost a year and a half. This is because it wasn't until the summer of 2014 that a more detailed idea of how the rover would function was published. During this time, however, further planning work was already underway. A river delta in the Jezero crater was selected from several possible landing sites. Here an impressive 3.5 billion years ago, there was a lake several hundred feet deep. Because of that, this area is considered particularly promising in the search for life on Mars. The Atlas V, 541, was chosen as the launch vehicle for transport into space. The space probe itself is an upgrade of the probe that was used for the previous Mars mission. Both the flight and landing systems have been significantly improved. The Development of the Mars Rover It was precisely this search for life that was also the focus during the planning stage. Even a slight germ contamination could massively skew the measurement results and lead us to believe there were traces of life where there is actually only dead rock. For this reason, equipment development was carried out in a double-insulated, germ-free, clean room. Unfortunately, hardly any details are known about the building of the helicopter. However, it can be assumed that similar precautions were taken here as well. What is known for sure, however, are some technical data on ingenuity. The helicopter is to remain operational for 60 days after landing on Mars. Exploration flights are pre-planned, but an autonomous control system responds to potential difficulties. Communication will take place live with the Mars rover and via the rover, subsequently with Earth. This mission is primarily intended as a first test of whether aerial reconnaissance of Mars is possible and, above all, useful. The Long Wait Until Launch As expected, little information was released to the public during the years of development. Nevertheless, the Mars 2020 mission was widely advertised. For example, the Send Your Name to Mars initiative was launched. Here, people could register their names. One's own name was stored together with all others on a microchip, which was sent to Mars as part of the mission. More than 10 million people took part in this program, sending a very clear signal of interest. On July 30th, 2020, the time finally came. The launch vehicle with the spacecraft Perseverance and Ingenuity on board successfully started its journey to Mars. The Flight to Mars The flight to Mars took a little more than 200 days. The calculation of the covered distance is a bit complicated. This is because it is calculated in relation to the Sun, as the distance between Mars and Earth is constantly fluctuating. What is certain, however, is that the probe traveled a total of 292 million miles, 
which is a much greater distance than the maximum distance between Mars and Earth. The cruising speed relative to the Sun was slightly more than 47,000 miles per hour. Landing on Mars The landing time had been calculated and planned in advance. The landing was to take place on February 18, 2021, around 9.55 p.m. The entire procedure was meticulously organized. All maneuvers were programmed into the probe so that it could carry out the landing completely automatically. This is a system that had already proven itself during the last Mars mission. Sudden obstacles can be automatically bypassed or even the landing site changed. However, these safety measures were not necessary. With a delay of only one minute, the spacecraft successfully landed on Mars at 9.56 p.m. on February 18, 2021. Documentation of the research Above all, communication with Earth is an essential part of research documentation. For this purpose, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter spacecraft orbiting Mars were used as relay stations. In addition, the course of the Mars probe MAVEN was changed slightly so that it could document the landing. Monitoring is supplemented by space probes from Mars Express, which observes and documents weather conditions near the landing site. Successful Contact After the successful landing, researchers waited on tenterhooks to see whether the helicopter, as well as the Mars rover, could be activated and establish communication with Earth. A shorter time later, those responsible were able to breathe a sigh of relief. Communication had been established, and both devices were expected to be fully operational. However, it would take some time until the first exploration was possible, as the batteries had to be discharged first, for safety reasons. A little later, the next success story reached us. The first images of the Mars 2020 mission were transmitted. However, these were only from a camera meant to inspect the functioning of the rover. The quality of the shots is therefore not the best. In total, the Mars rover and the helicopter have 19 different cameras. Images with a better resolution are therefore expected soon. The first sound recordings from Mars In the meantime, the Perseverance rover has transmitted further data to Earth. These are recordings made during the landing. The last 11 minutes before the landing were completely documented. According to NASA, for example, we can see the parachute that slowed down the spacecraft's speed before impact. We also see the surface of the planet. The special thing about these recordings, however, is that it's the first time sound was ever transmitted from Mars. No important or useful information could be detected in the soundtracks at first, but individual parts are said to demonstrate wind blowing. This is how Mars 2020 continues. The whole world is excited to see what information the Mars 2020 mission will yield. The rover and its cameras are operational. The helicopter has also confirmed an operational status, but it's still hanging securely on the underside of the rover. Over the next 30 to 60 days, however, it is expected to make numerous short reconnaissance flights. It is equipped with several cameras to provide images of Mars from a new vantage point. The most important goal is verifying if it's feasible to explore Mars with aircraft. If it is, future missions could explore larger areas and gain a wealth of new data. The Mars rover's remit is much more extensive, however. Over the next two years, it will carry out numerous investigations on Mars. The primary goal is the search for microbial life. The potential for analysis is clear but with the limited instruments of perseverance, severely limited. In any case, a positive finding would have to be viewed with caution and confirmed first. Numerous rock and clay samples are to be collected. 
A future mission to Mars could collect these samples and send them back to Earth. These are ambitious goals, since they would require the first launch of a rocket from a foreign planet. If this mission succeeds as planned, we can't expect the arrival of the rock samples on Earth until 2036, at the earliest. Nevertheless, this would be a true milestone in the exploration of Mars, and thus also of the entire universe. So we'll have to be a little patient to see many of these exciting questions answered. Is there life on Mars? Perhaps the Mars 2020 mission will give us the first clues. But we might not know for sure for many years. That was the latest information on NASA's Mars 2020 mission, and we expect regular updates on the mission to be announced in the coming days and weeks. We will of course keep you up to date. If new measurement data, images, or important information becomes known, we'll post updates in the comments or create another video. We're also very curious what you think about the mission. Do you believe in life on Mars? And will the mission be successful in that regard? How do you envision further space exploration? What technical tools will we use in the future to explore alien planets? Our heads are buzzing with ideas, but whether they'll actually be implemented is another question. Share your ideas with us and post a comment. We look forward to a lively discussion.